all talking about Second Amendment. Can I ask you something about the First Amendment? Of course. Okay, so Please the founder and CEO of Turning Point USA, Charlie Curtis, said a lot of racist things. Like, what, what racist thing has Charlie Curtis said? No, no, I'm not. We're going to have a little bit of a dialogue about what racist, what, what racist things has Charlie Curtis said? Okay, I'll answer the question of racist things he said. He says we shouldn't celebrate Juneteenth. We shouldn't celebrate Martin Luther King Day. We should be working those days. He's talking to Tony Brown Jackson, an affirmative action hire. He said all this nonsense about George Floyd. And he said he'd be scared if a black pilot was on a plane. Does that not seem racist? I don't know anything about that. Oh, that's your fault. Okay, well, after all the things I just told you, would you consider that hate speech? I'm not going to comment on that. I mean, Kyle, you did say we're going to have an open dialogue here with millions watching and many people benefiting from this program called Indisputable. We just need 1% of the viewers to become a paid member so we can continue to bring this content to you. Now back to the show. Let's see, let's see that from another perspective. Okay, I'll answer the question of racist things he said. He says we shouldn't celebrate Juneteenth. We shouldn't celebrate Martin Luther King Day. We should be working those days. It's called Katani Brown Jackson, an affirmative action hire. He's tell out nonsense about George Floyd. And he said he'd be scared if a black pilot was on a plane. Does that not seem racist? I don't know anything about that. Oh, yeah. They answer no, no, no. Does that seem racist? Is a yes or no question, Kyle? After all the things I just told you, would you consider that hate speech? I'm not going to comment on that. Deflection! 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 Yeah! 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 And ladies and gentlemen, it was all over. Put up the picture full mass. Charlie Kirk, you must be disappointed in your mentee. Sir, you saying that you would be afraid of having a black pilot, sir, I would be afraid of having that hairstyle. <laughs> okay, so we said it this week, Sharon Reed and I commented on the reality of Kyle Rittenhouse um, being qualified to be a lecturer at universities because he traveled across state lines and killed people or killed a person to try to kill others. Um, I guess that's qualification these days. But because student organizations have invited him, really by way of Turning Point USA, they have amazing authority to express their freedom of speech, even if it offends. This is relatively routine on university campuses. And I reminded the students that if you cannot stop by way of petition, this individual from coming to your school, simply exercise your equally protected freedom of speech as well. Here it is. Students, you have freedom of speech too. Those that oppose Rittenhouse, the same freedom that he has to say what he wants to say on your campus, you have that same freedom. How about you talk when he's talking? Freedom of speech. All right, sharing thoughts here. Well, it's by design, turning point, and I'd say the Republicans in Congress too, another one that they can put some lighter fluid on, stoke another cultural fire, if you will, this yep. war. It's why the Republicans introduced the Respecting the First Amendment on Campus Act. Yeah, um, all right, let's put it up again. So per Newsweek, per Newsweek, Kyle Rittenhouse stormed off stage, he was kind of told to leave by it looked to be one of the organizers uh, because the organizer had, well, let's just say mercy and got Kyle Rittenhouse out of there. So he storms off stage during an appearance at the University of Memphis on Wednesday after he was confronted about comments made by Turning Point USA founder and president Charlie Kirk. Turning Point USA is the leading organization basically footing the bill for Kyle Rittenhouse to do this tour. Rittenhouse was invited 
by the college's Turning Point USA chapter to speak at the campus. However, the event was met with backlash from a number of students who objected to his presence. And I must say, the students were actually quite respectful. Those who disagreed with Kyle Rittenhouse, they waited for an opportunity at Q&A. They posed their questions. And I must say to the young brother who obviously has a bright future and is a true scholar, when he posed the question, and Charlie Kirk, uh, excuse me, and Rittenhouse, Charlie Kirk's, you know, mentee, um, he decided to say, well, what has Charlie Kirk said? Oh, okay. That's the game we want to play. So the college student proceeded to provide an answer because they're having an open dialogue. And when he provided the answer, as you can clearly see, Rittenhouse says, I don't know nothing about that. And instead of engaging Rittenhouse on the reality of his false response, in my opinion, he decides to let that go. The college student says, okay, maybe you don't. But are those statements hate speech, in your opinion? And that's when he lost it all. Rittenhouse could not respond. I have no comment. Sir, you're the man on stage. You are there because you had something to say. And now you have no comment. It's not as if a reporter just caught you walking to your car. You literally signed up to talk. But truth creates a malfunction in your ability to critically think. Wow. Mayor Mundell Robinson, I got to tell you, dear brother, this was a beautiful moment and a victory for truth. What say you? I'm, I'm waiting for the congressional hearing um, <laughs> from all of the professors at these colleges that, are, that allow Kyle Rittenhouse and Turning Point to continue yeah. to exist. Like we saw with our Jewish brothers and sisters when they were threatened or they felt threatened. That's right. This is a continuation of nothing but black trauma and also torturing of black people. Letting these people have space, this idea that free speech is wonderful and unchecked when you were talking about black calm or what happens to black life. This man walked across the street, across the state, I'm sorry, killed someone, went to the police officers and was protected almost. I am absolutely disgusted that this is the case that we find ourselves in on college campuses. Yep. However... However, those young folk were not playing with him today, and they and they see through what these pundits allow and call civil discourse. There's nothing civil about Kyle Rittenhouse being invited to a college to speak about anything. Yeah. He murdered people because people were standing up for the murder of another person. And the idea that he's welcome in any academic space is silly to me, brother. Silly. Yeah, it's quite insane. And universities always have the ability to cite on the conflict of safety protocols on campus. And they can do things like mandate the individual, bring their own security protocol. The student organization must sponsor um, the amount of money needed for extra security at the campus. There are ways that you can detour things like this from happening without violating the actual free speech expression that is allowed on college campuses.